All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Comey Can't Communicate Season 2, Episode 7. Uh, in the last episode, it was very sweet, very wholesome. Uh, started out with the shrine visit with all the friends, uh, then went on to Tadano getting sick from that. Oh, no, it wasn't specifically from that. It was uh, the next part of the episode was the ice skating, which, again, really fun. Uh, Makoto, Komi, uh, Tadano episode. Who likes who more? Who knows? <laughs> um, but yeah, really fun kind of uh, first part of the episode. And then finally, uh, presumably from the ice skating, somehow, um, Tadano got sick. Or maybe he just got sick randomly. I'm not sure. You know how it'd be in anime. And um, yeah, he got sick. Uh, Nurse Komi came over. It's such a motherly kind of love. Um, really sweet the way she kind of just came over, no questions asked, and had, like uh, helped him out. Nursed him back to health. Um, yeah, really wholesome episode. They just need to get married. Um, and yeah, really loving them so far, and I'm excited for this episode. So, as always, guys, like the video if you like the video, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And let's go into this episode right now. Oh, it's even given us uh, a last episode summary. Okay. <laughs> That's what she's thinking. Oh, God. You can't. <laughs> She can't work. She keeps thinking of Tadano. <laughs> Wait, so is this what Komi's imagining? Or is... No, this is just what Komi is imagining. Okay. You're writing her a letter? Just send her a text if you're that bothered. She probably didn't even see. Yeah, Komi, that's a horrible letter. <laughs> it's just not necessary. Just vibe. Move on. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Just plain ignorance and just pretend like it never happened. I mean, not really, no. You could have just been feeling this temperature or anything. Yeah, she's still embarrassed. It is a very big deal for Komi. Is she putting this in Najimi's locker? They're going to think it's a love letter or something. Oh, gosh. Hello. <laughs> a love letter. Ah, Tadano's back. He's still a little bit sick, though, it looks like. More embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. What did it say? I was checking his pulse. Whoa. You couldn't have just put that in a text. He's, oh, so he's still just wearing the mask just to be safe. Be like Tadano. You don't remember? Oh my god. Hazy. Wow. And then his sister came home and said, I smell women. But she never confirmed they were there. Just, like, check your phone lock. He phoned her, but he probably doesn't remember that either. Oh, is there a note? Ah, okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> Always buy these lockers. Oh my god, so yeah, he remembers that, but he doesn't remember specifically her coming over. Oh my god. She thinks- Oh no, she thinks she's talking about the hand. 50 meters in 6.89 seconds. Checking your pulse. <laughs> the misunderstandings keep piling up. That should be the name for this show. <laughs> A beautiful man named Nokiso. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Oh, here we go. New character. <laughs> Narusei-kun, wow. Bro has main character energy. I don't think so. <laughs> Komitani is a commentator, lol. Justice Bieber. Wow. They blow their bangs. Goddamn main character syndrome. No one is looking. Bro, the commentator is hilarious. No one is looking. He's just a loner. Tadano's looking. Bro, this guy's hilarious. He's like reading his mind. A communication disorder. Wow. He got that right. 
No. Oh. They didn't have perverted thoughts. <laughs> Bruh. They didn't give a fuck. Okay, these guys do not like a pretty boy, clearly. Was everybody doing that on purpose? And this guy's just always by his side. <laughs> Bro, you are heavily in denial here. <laughs> oh, you don't want to mess with her. <laughs> oh my god. For anybody that's watched Doctor Strange, if you know, you know. Oh my god. That was awful. That was an actual curse. Piano strings? Literally everybody is stopping him from talking to her. Exhausted. Yeah, I would be. No, <laughs> he's scared of them now. I like how he's like, uh, handkerchief is the same color as his hair. Stress. <laughs> is this guy's face gonna permanently be like that? Kemi's so sweet. <laughs> he's just staring at it for the whole day. I want to know if the blue-haired guy recognizes this guy standing next to him all the time. Are you going to speak, bro? <laughs> yeah, bro, you need to, like, exchange names first. Never mind numbers, bro. You need to get Tadano's seal of approval first. Yeah! <laughs> Fair enough. He's not a bad guy. Okay. Tadano's friends increased. <laughs> what are these bitches? Oh my god. Actual narcissist. Imagine he comes to school and does everything but, like, work. <laughs> it's who you go with. The trip with your friends and you don't have to do schoolwork. Kami? Are you asleep? <laughs> Was she just phased out? That's not like Komi. Najimi's asleep. She's really phased out, my god. Excuse me for a moment. Have a good trip. <laughs> I wonder why she's not focused today. It's about who you go with. A meeting? Huh? Hmm. Nice. I'm glad he asked her. It's not like a tremendous waste of paper, the way Komi writes on, like, sketchbooks and stuff. I don't think she's fine. I think it's worth probing a bit. Yeah, that's good. I wonder what's on her mind. It's got to be something to do with Kyoto. She looks really stressed out. She trying to say that was a lie? Yeah. You've never been to Kyoto? School field trip's group decision. Oh, bro, we're getting some Komi trauma right now. Oh, she didn't even have a sketchpad. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, Oh, Komi. You never even got to realize what their intentions were towards you. This would be the perfect moment for Tadna to come around the, the corner and just give her a hug. Absolutely not, Komi. You are the god not main character. <laughs> Najimi unknown. Aww. Aww. I don't know you, Chad. Aww. <laughs> that was such a sweet thing for him to say. <laughs> Komi. You'll be fine. Oh, I'm going to cry. It's so different to when she was in middle school. All right, so that was episode seven of Can We Communicate Season 2. 
Uh, really freaking good episode. Oh, God, yeah, I was tearing up at the end there. I'm not going to lie. Um, no, so next episode, we're getting the kind of lottery for who is going to be with Kobe. That's going to be interesting. Will they use this to kind of include Tadano still um, by fate? Or will they use this to kind of introduce new characters, have Kobe get to know people, maybe like Makoto again? That'd be cool. Um, with Tadano, without Tadno being there. Um, which would be interesting to see. But overall, a very good episode. Very emotional. Oh, Komi, man. Shout out Tadno. He said the, he said some great things there to Komi. Really reassured her about this. And it was just a very sweet conversation between them. So yeah, very good episode. Definitely looking forward to the next. As always, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have an interesting day and peace out.